Welcome back to the lab. Today this is the update number two on my RGB clock and as you can see it actually is working now. I have most of the functionality working. The GPS is running, the daylight savings is working, the uh, time zones working and all of that and the little individual LEDs are all working. I was having lots of trouble with those. Come to find out I had some bugs in my code, so I fixed that and that fixed the problem. I got the uh, CR2032 backup battery installed for the real time clock, and then the little light sensor here works. If I put this little shield over there, it gets well, quite a bit dimmer. And in operation, it will have one of these shields over it, so as the room light goes up, the brighter it gets. And so at night, it just it won't blind you. And I have the RGB uh, gamma curve in there, and that's working properly, so the RGB looks fairly decent now. I have a whole bunch of different patterns and palettes in there, and every once in a while it will randomly change. And I have yet to make the user interface board, so I'll do that here pretty soon. And then I'll plug in that 8-pin connector on the back. but. I also have the speech synthesizer working, but since I don't have buttons, every time the pattern on the display changes, it will speak the time. So I'll plug the speaker in, and you can actually hear that. It is 100 hours, 51 minutes. There, it took a little while, but it decided to speak, so I'll let it do another one. See how long it takes. It is 100 hours, 53 minutes. So there it spoke again. So every time the pattern changes, it will speak a it different... Is 100 hours, 54 minutes. So every time the pattern changes, it will speak the time. Obviously, I'll have it announce the time every, say, hour, then make it an option to do it every half hour and maybe quarter hour, and then... I'll have some other options like volume control. Right now it's fairly quiet, but it can get really loud. So right now it's just set to a fairly quiet level, and then there'll be a button you can press to make it announce the time also. So I'll turn it over and show the back of the board to show what I've added since last time. And I think it's pretty much done now, electronic-wise. Okay, so on the back of the board I've done a couple things now. I have speaker connector on here now for the speaker so the amplifier and the a the d to a converter and this pick are all working this pick runs the speech and the light sensor so both of those are done this pick runs the led refresh and that's done and i added a another 74 ACO4 here because i have to buffer the serial data coming from that gps module the module runs at 3.3 volts but unfortunately the data is only at like two and a half volts so that wasn't enough voltage for the pick, so I have to buffer it through two inverters. So I'm doing that, so the pick's now working properly and receiving the GPS data. Then I'll take these, take these clip leads off here for power. And on the back here we've got the, take this programming connector off. There's the main pick that's actually doing the timekeeping, the GPS module, it has a real-time clock also built in, and then there's the GPS module antenna, and so that works fine. Unfortunately, when I got the antenna, I didn't know that it had a male pin, and the connector I bought had a male pin also, so that wasn't going to work. But I went to the ham fest a couple, uh, two weeks ago, and guess what? They were selling some and had these connectors, and that was the exact right connector I I need it, and yes, the GPS antenna does work. So you plug the antenna in, and it will switch over from this external or this internal antenna here to the external antenna, and that works great. Then the power comes in here, and this 8 pin connector is where the user interface goes the buttons and the switches and stuff. So I'm going to make a cable that plugs in there with some test switches, and that'll be the next step. So once I get the code all done, the final bit will be to make an enclosure and I'll probably make it out of laser cut acrylic and I'll go through that and show the cutting process and all that so that'll be pretty nice so that's what I got right now and thanks for watching and I'll post a third update when the time comes